Hello, Internet, this is the Root. Ah, today was heck of a good day today. Oh well, something didn't actually go go as uh, planned, but hey, shit happens. <coughs> I was supposed to meet a family member at the pub, but that got delayed and taken out because uh, their uh, boss wanted them to work until 2 a.m. So that got uh, flunked out. And the other part is, uh, they also have to work, uh, tomorrow too, till about the same time, so, it's been, uh, delayed until around Friday, depending, if they get a day off. So, yeah, I didn't intend to go to the pub today, I don't intend to go tomorrow, and, uh, the other part is, I took a ride downtown, in order to build up my stamina for a King City ride, a solo ride, not a group ride, on the 16th. I did about 35 to 40 kilometers. Along the way, I ran into Black Lives Matter with the protests that started at 9 p.m. Remember, I left at 9 p.m. And the email, because of a bit of a glitch, didn't come until around uh, 10.30, 11 o'clock. So. I managed to catch up to them at uh, Dunas Square. As I looked around all the locations where they said it'd be, but they weren't there, and I wasn't about to ask. And then I finally thought, oh, maybe I'll just check out Dunas Square. And they were there. Of all places, they were there. I even went around uh, Osgood Hall, around the area, to peek into the Infos Square. They weren't there. They weren't at Queens Park either. So it turns out Dunas Square, that's where they were. So I headed there. They had some music going on. They're speaking over the loudspeaker, and then they dispersed shortly after that. Shortly after that. Around the area, I saw Xanta. I haven't seen him in ages. He's in his late 50s, early 60s, maybe 70s, I can't recall. He had this uh, three wheeled uh, three wheeled mobility scooter, and uh, he was wheeling around circles at Dunlap Square, you know. Running the bases in each corner, because it was closed off in that. And he was doing push-ups a few times, so he hasn't lost his mojo, so that's a good thing. I haven't seen him in ages, and uh, he didn't remember me, so that's odd. Hope he doesn't have, uh, you know, memory issues. But if he is, then <sighs> it's disappointing, but whatever, you know. He probably would remember me. If I had spoken to him, but you know, it was also spitting out the rain off and on. So I wanted to get videos of him uh, doing push ups, but I couldn't because the rain was hitting and then stop, then starting, then stopping. So that kind of interrupted it. Not to mention, my device is in a Ziploc, and, and the way I had it in the Ziploc, the freezer lock logo was right above the camera, it was right on over top of the camera section so I wasn't able to get video because you wouldn't have seen shit except for a white haze. The label on the bag. God damn it. Regardless, upon heading home, up Young Street to St. Clair and west along St. Clair, I got caught in the rain and I got drenched. Completely. Well, not completely. My hair did. My helmet did. Back of my shirt didn't. Front of my shirt did. This shirt's almost dry anyway, believe it or not. And uh, yeah, I, I almost got completely drenched, but it was fun and it was exciting and it was pleasurable and very refreshing too. And then the rain slowed down as I got home. Like literally almost about 500 meters from home, the rain stopped to a slow to a crawl, and that was it. And now it's not raining outside no more. So, oh, nice. I got some good exercise. 40 to 45K. I'm going to do it tomorrow also. Because I got to build it up, you know. Right to go right to King City. And then to head to Markham afterwards. And then to finally uh, scoop back to Toronto. Maybe along Markham Road. I don't know. Maybe go for Scarborough region after, and then head home along the uh, Waterford Trail. 
I don't know. I don't know. I might do that. I might just be fucking just use Kingston Road. Which is okay. I've done it before. Kingston Road to Danforth and then just go across that to get home that way too. I can do that. I'll find out because the King City ride, that's going to be on the 16th. And you know, people don't live forever so. And uh, yeah, for my schoolmates. That sucks. Anyways, uh, I'm going to cut the video short because I don't want to be rambling on for too long. And I hope you've been staying safe out there, following all the precautions, and not listening to the nut, the nut job fringe or truther groups or conspiracy groups, if you call them that. Oh, it's raining outside again. Speaking of shit. Yeah, hopefully you're not uh, getting the seat by the not job fringe truth or conspiracy groups out there. Just uh, just follow the precautions. Use common sense and evidence based information and you should be fine. Anyways, that's all I gotta say. Feel free to subscribe. And uh, that's all I gotta say. Peace out. And also feel free to share and embed the video. Laters.